Well, I this red or totally ignored probably the latter, totally ignored the fact that pork and beans have three and a half servings per can and not two servings per can. So at one serving being uh, 140 calories, uh, that's 390 calories in one can. And if you pair that up with the Vienna sausages, they have 120 calories per uh, serving, and two servings is 240 calories. So the combination, if I ate this can of beans and this can of sausages all in one sitting, that would be 730 calories. That is a lot of calories for one meal um, for a survival situation, let's put it that way. Um, I think the uh, I don't know, government recommended daily allowance of calories is like 2,000 for an average active person, uh, albeit uh, the caveat is active person. So <laughs> uh, if you're not an active person, that's probably a lot of calories. So 730 calories, if you ate two of those, two meals, um, well, you can eat one in the morning and one in the evening, or if you just use this as one meal, uh, that would be 730 calories. And then if you ate <laughs> two of them a day, that's 1,460 calories. Um, that's not bad for a survival situation, 1,400 calories, uh, you know, in, in hopes of um, getting rescued. But I, I would still, you could probably stretch that out into four meals. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna see <laughs> one of these days. I want to see um, what living or if you can actually uh, you know eat these in a in a sitting. Uh, that's that's a lot of food. I don't know, but just for you, I'm gonna try it out. So let's move forward. Uh, I recorded this before. I found out that there were three and a half servings in this. So let's finish out the Wrangler Star $10 uh, survival pack. So the rules are you have to make a fire, so have something to be able to make a fire. You need something in order to make a shelter, some kind of rudimentary shelter. Hopefully you'll have, you know, uh, ample clothing on you. Um, it has to be waterproof. You have to be able to submerge it for a minute or longer, at least a minute. And you have to be able to get two meals out of it. Now, he did a couple other things that weren't in the official rules, but um, he wanted uh, something for lighting. Uh, so he got himself a flashlight, so I got a flashlight. And also something to make a, uh, or to make a, a signal or uh, like a whistle or something so that's uh, I'll include that in there and this is what my stuff looks like all packed away now nothing goes to waste I actually took the box that the plastic bags came in and I put them in there I double bagged all these and you know to keep them uh, waterproof uh, and I separate the matches so if one box gets or one bag gets damaged uh, or leaks at least I'll have another bag of my uh, box of matches and I put the string in there so that and the flashlight in there in the next bag uh, let's go this one I put the tablecloths in there and I put the knife see the knife handle in there <coughs> and in the last bag I put the two cans of chili of course the chili cans uh, don't need to be waterproof but eh, whatever uh, keeps them from getting rusty or whatever and I put the actually put the grocery bags in there as uh, you know just something to carry stuff if you need to carry stuff and of course the extra bags are in here in case I need to carry water of course after I open the chili cans and eat the chili I can carry water in there the other thing was uh, oh he didn't put in the rules something to signal with, but let me let me hit on that real quick. 
whenever <laughs> you're out in the woods and you need something to s signal somebody with, uh, all you need to do is find a piece of plastic or even a piece of paper will do. Now let me show you what I mean. Uh, you don't need a whistle. Uh, you don't even need to buy a whistle. I, I don't carry, well I do have a whistle that I carry just because I have it but I didn't go out and buy it. But let's start with a, a piece of paper um, if you don't have, can't find any plastic or you know if you have a piece of paper or if you have even a dollar bill in your uh, in your pocket just do as you rip a little piece of paper like that. Let me turn you around so you can see me. So just take a piece of paper, hold it like that. It's no trickery. And the smaller, probably the smaller the better. This this is probably a good size, but probably about an inch, an inch square, a little like that. And you put it next to your mouth, and then you just blow in between the uh, the piece of paper. And I'm not going to do it too loud, but the faster you blow, the louder it gets, obviously. So you just go. And the closer you put your fingers together the higher the pitch. That's paper. Um, plastic works even better obviously because it's it's very uh, durable. So, you, so I just left the plastic on my box of matches right? and then when I need to I can just rip off a little piece. It's going to have to be pretty. Take a little between your fingers there and just go And trust me, somebody will hear you uh, if you do that. So that is my tip on a $10 dollar store survival kit. One last thing before I go. Um, you could put, you, uh, I guess you can use one of the grocery bags that you get. I know Wrangler Star got a couple of extra grocery bags to use for whatever. Um, so. I'm guessing you can just put your ten dollar dollar store survival kit in uh, in the grocery bag, or uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a uh, an old backpack I've got that I'm not using for anything, and just uh, put the uh, thing in there, give it a little more durability. I'm sure many of us have backpacks that we're not using, or you can, you know, go to a thrift store and uh, get one for relatively inexpensive. Uh, use what you got, but otherwise, I think uh, just the grocery store will will count. Now, in the spring, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually try to survive. Uh, maybe one night uh, out in the backyard with just what's in this bag so hopefully I can get it done this uh, the spring if not I don't know but keep an eye out for that I almost forgot about my combs <laughs>